G'day, um, I'm reviewing another pen. Um, this time it's a custom one made by uh, Tim Cullen at the Hooligan Pen Company on Facebook. I'll post a link in the description below. So if you want to check him out, I recommend it. Send him a message and uh, see what you can get out of him. All right. So it came in a um, in a nice wrapped um, leather wrap. It had my choice of different uh, leather wraps that I wanted. As far as I know, they're all made locally um, out of genuine leather. This one, I believe, was the shark skin, and it's uh, quite nice. It's a dark color, as I requested. Um, it comes with a nice tie to tie it up, and it came with... Um, the original copies, I think I've got them here. Well, it came with the copy, copies of the um, the drawing and what we planned out to actually do for it, which is quite nice and signed by Tim. I quite like that, it's a nice touch. So it's this little pen case that it comes with. This is a nice soft pen case. I quite like it, it's nice and comfortable, fits in your pocket well and ties up quite nicely. So you open it up and inside we get the pen. This pen was made to uh, my requirements. Um, it's a gorgeous pen. Uh, the, it's made out of um, Russian bog oak. So essentially a oak tree fell into a Russian bog about 5,000 years ago. Started to fossilize and rot away. Um, but rather than rotting, it actually uh, preserves. And uh, the chemicals from the bog get into it turn it this nice sort of black colour. Um, the other part that I wanted to spe specialise with this pen was the um, shiny um, clip, which is stainless steel on this one. Uh, it's a two section clip. So you've got the tongue that goes inside and then it screws onto your clip here, which is quite nice. That works very well. It's um, got an engraving of a wolf's head on top, which was uh, a great little detail Tim added on for me. And then uh, the real beauty of this is the hand inlaid um, abalone. It's a bit hard to see in here with the light, but it should look better in the writing sample. Uh, this is a gorgeous design. Um, it's basically got a row of um, abalone here, or raiden as it's sometimes called, and then another row on this side. Each piece is hand cut by Tim, and then he inlays it and then glues it all in, polishes it up, sands it, it makes it so it's all nice and smooth and looks great and shiny. Um, the sizes are all made to how I specified so that it fits my hand. I know what I want. Um, it's a screw screw type. And uh, you can always tell with the screw threads whether they've been done properly or not. Is you pull them out so it's loose, then you wiggle it. And if there's a heap of movement, chances are whoever made the threads did either a dodgy job or... They purposely made it really loose to allow for uh, tolerances. This one is perfect. It screws in and out great. Holds in there fine. No floppiness. Or no dodgy work there. Um, so it's very well made. I haven't had an issue with it cross-threading or anything. Very happy with that. Good quality. The grip and the threads here are made out of um, black ebonite. Um, the black matches the rest of the pen. The ebonite's quite nice, it's good to hold on to, it's comfortable, um, very nice, very well made. It's an hourglass design. I like the hourglass design, it stops your fingers from falling forwards on the pen, gives you a good spot to grip onto, and it just makes writing a lot nicer in my opinion. Um, it came with a um, Jowo nib, I uh, asked for the broad nib, and uh, Tim took it to one of the pen shows and got Mike Musuyama to grind it to a broad stub. Uh, obviously, as with all Mike Masayama's work, the um, grind on the nib is great. I love it. Um, so you unscrew the nib section. And it's a cartridge converter. Tim includes, I think these are the Schmidt K5 converters. Very nice converters. Uh, I've currently got green ink in there as well. Matches the end there. Uh, plus it's a uh, noodler's ink that I'm trying out. Uh, it's quite a nice pen. The threads are great there as well. Holds together really well. But uh, yeah, amazingly made pen. It took a little while for him to make it and he's starting to get booked up now. So if you want a pen, best to uh, head over there now and get put on a wait list. That way you'll only wait a couple of months. But um, yeah, this is gorgeous. I love the abalone inlay. Um, he did a marvelous job. I reviewed and have just posted the Jinhao 650 
which also has a uh, abalone mother of pearl inlay and it's nowhere near as good as this this is good quality it looks nice it's not gaudy or trashy it's very well done uh, I've also seen other pens that he makes and he makes them with just about any material that you can fabricate make grind so he does great work uh, he uses bone antler all sorts of wood um, celluloid resins and uh, but the one special thing that he does that a lot of people don't do is everything's handmade um, the clip a lot of people source the clips out to manufacturers or buy them pre-made um, Tim makes his own personally that way each one's individual it's a nice added touch to the pen um, something you don't see very often um, but yeah so it's a great pen I love this one I've been using it last oh, last week that I've had it and uh, I haven't been able to fault it at all um, it's the perfect size pen for me and uh, I'm quite enjoying it uh, so measurements on this pen are uh, when I find a bit of paper here we go so capped it's 151 millimeters uncapped it's 131 you cannot post this pen so in this case because it's wood you wouldn't want to anyway you'd probably damage the wood um, but if posting is a must for you I'm sure if you message him he can work something out for you so you can't post it but it's designed not to be posted anyway the grip at the smaller section of the uh, hourglass is 9.5 mil and the barrel goes up to 14 millimeters the weight with the cap is 30.5 and without the cap it's 17.9 grams very nice weight to sort of work with the wood feels really nice when you touch it it's that proper woody feel he doesn't lacquer it I think it's just a wax or an oil seal of some sort um, and it gives you that nice textured feeling not too smooth or too slippery if your hands get a bit sweaty or you know slippery you still get a good grip on it so I like the wood it's uh, very nice um, very personalized you know nothing like this is going to be made exactly the same again um, you can get your own engravings on the um, clips and whatever else you want Tim can organize all that for you and um, yeah the ebonite section is quite nice as well I like the ebonite there it's good for gripping onto and it doesn't aggravate or anything the threads aren't sharp at all they don't get in my way when riding. Um, it's very well done, very well designed. Um, yeah. The other thing I'd like to mention is where he's put the um, stainless steel ring on the end of the cap here. Um, it sort of uh, hides the threads, so you don't see the threads when looking inside. It's just a bit of a nice uh, nicety on top. And then it uh, screws together and holds very nicely. Doesn't fall off, doesn't cause any issues, doesn't unscrew by itself like some pens. I'm uh, very happy with this pen. It's the sort of pen I got it got it made so that I could walk into say a business meeting down the track, have it in my pocket, and it's something that you know you could pull out using a business meeting. It doesn't look too gaudy or too over the top, but at the same time with the um, abalone inlay, when the sun hits it, it looks gorgeous and amazing. So I love it, and uh, yeah, thanks for making this, Tim. We'll get to a writing sample, and I'll show you what some of the other features are with the abalone inlay and the nib. Cheers. Okay, so this is the writing sample for my Tim Cullen pen. I'll um, see if I can get in on this wolf. There you go. You can probably just see it there. There's the engraving for it. Looks quite nice. Um, the mother of pearl on this is amazing. He did a great job on this. You can see the lights and colours and different that all that flashing on it. This looks amazing, especially when you're outside or in person. It doesn't show up as well on here as it does in person, especially when you're outside in the sun rather than artificial light. This is the um, ebonite section with the quite nice threads. The Jowo nib with the Mike Muscle Yama broad stub. All right, so we'll do a bit of a writing sample. Uh, this is the Tim Callum Australian pen. Um, 
His company name is is the uh, Hooligan Pen Company, and you'll find them on uh, Facebook. And uh, so, yeah, if you drop him a line there, he'll be able to help you out with any of your uh, pens. Uh, so this is a uh, Mike Muscle Yama Broad Stub. Uh, Mike Muscle Yama, I believe, isn't that far away from Tim. So um, if you want to get one made up, like a nib ground to however you want it, I'm sure he'll be able to sort you out on that one. A uh, bit of a writing sample. Uh, I forgot to mention this ink is Noodler's Hunter Green which is a uh, permanent, almost pigment type ink. Um, bit of quick scribbling. So this is quite a nice pen, obviously as you'd expect. I love writing with this one, it was designed to my specifications for my hand size. Uh, the nib, Mike Masuyama always does an amazing job. and. Um, yeah, it's mainly about the wood and the actual pen itself is why I got this made. Something very special and very nice. Something you're not really going to find anywhere else. This is a fairly dry running ink. And this pen isn't the wettest, but that's alright. That's sort of how I wanted this one. It's more of a business type pen. But yeah, you can see as I turn the base there, it starts flashing all the different colours. See if I can zoom in on it. Amazing pen and great work. I haven't been able to fault it. Um, I'm very happy with this. And uh, yeah, so definitely I'll put a link in the description to the Hooligan Pen Company. If you want to drop him a line and figure out how much it would cost to get your dream pen made, hit him up and... You know, worst case scenario, you only get an idea and no commitment or anything. But great bloke to do work with and he does amazing work. So thanks for watching and I hope this has helped. Goodbye.